Mm. Okay, as someone that leads the country 91 days a year, I get asked this question all the time and I just have to address it. Mexico? Why would you go to Mexico? Uh, you know that whole country's a slum. I'm just worried about you down there. And I even got this one once. Mexico? Yeah. These are real comments I've gotten from actual well-meaning people, all of them Americans, and I know they're looking out for me. But I feel that all these comments are misinformed. So what do I say to them? Why Mexico? This is why. This place is gorgeous. I mean, seriously, just look at it. Last week, I spent six days between Merida, Valladolid, and Chichen Itza, and I can say with full confidence that this place deserves a spot up there with some of the best in the world, honestly. It's got well-groomed plazas. It's got beautiful colonial architecture. It's got clean and safe streets. And the food, oh my god, the food! It made me want to swear off Chipotle for the rest of my life. And of course, it had some of the most intensely gorgeous natural scenery I've ever seen. The place is fantastic. Are parts of Mexico dangerous? Absolutely, I'm not oblivious to this fact and you probably shouldn't go to these areas. But to discount an entire country as welcoming and pleasant as Mexico, well that's just your loss, honestly. Hey Brad, maybe you've just gotten lucky on these trips. Mexico is dangerous. Okay, let's talk facts. The murder rate in Mexico is three times higher than in the US, but it isn't necessarily dangerous for Americans. The US State Department reported in 2010 that the murder rate for Americans in Mexico is less than half the murder rate for Americans in America. The Miami Herald in an article in 2015 references this graphic that shows homicide rates in Mexico versus some US cities. And while murders aren't the only measure of travel safety, I'll skip all the other boring parts and let the Miami Herald sum it up best. Yes, it is safe to travel to most Latin American countries. And in many cases, it's even safer than visiting many US cities. Just avoid crime hotspots and try not to wear expensive jewelry. In other words, do the same thing you would do in your own country. Self-satisfied smile. But Brad, I knew a friend that knew someone that went to Mexico and insert bad thing here happened to them. That's the thing. Bad news spreads faster than good news. Pictures of severed heads in the desert from gang-related violence makes for better headlines than my bro Cody goes to Cancun, has brodacious time, gets questionable tattoo, and hooks up with Stysai. But the fact of the matter is, is 150,000 Americans visit Mexico every single day, and most of them probably have a great time, and maybe get diarrhea. Let's be honest, they probably get diarrhea. The struggle's real. So, let's recap. Mexico is dangerous. Two, everywhere is dangerous. Three, Mexico isn't that much more dangerous than everywhere else. Number four, just go live your life. I am, I already booked another flight back to Mexico City in December. So if you need me, I'll be off putting my money where my mouth is. What, what?